Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Karina. This video I am going to be uh, attempting a sticker organization. This is currently my setup, my sticker setup, and honestly, I've just outgrown it. I've been collecting decorative stickers for about three years. Decorative stickers are, to me, stickers that I've purchased from uh, independent shops or from Etsy. Um, and like I said, I've been collecting them for about three years and I've just outgrown this bag. <laughs> it's worked well, it's very portable, but I have grown into too many binders. I'm starting to forget where things are at, so it is time to find a new system. And I wanted to bring you along with me in that journey. Uh, to give you a scale of how large this bag is, it's, it's pretty sizable, it's a full size bag, but I have it sitting on top of my uh, table of my dream box. This is a crafter's companion. Um, it is a happy place for me. I will absolutely be doing a video, a walkthrough of just showing you what I have in it, how I store stuff, things like that. So please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload that video. But this video is going to be focused on my sticker org, so stay tuned. All right guys, so um, let's start unpacking some of these binders. So I thought I would start by showing you what I initially used uh, that worked very well for a few years. So these two binders um, are the oldest system I use to start categorizing my decorative stickers. They are Happy Planner sticker books and they come with dividers and they also come with a uh, small amount of these um, double-sided sticky pages that you rip off a covering and then you can stick the Happy Planner sticker sheet right on top of there and that's how they're they're meant to be used. Oh here here's an example so here this is the back end you just take off this um, sticky covering not sticky and then you just place your happy planner sticker sheet on top so that's how I um, usually would hold my my happy planner stickers but as I started buying more and more from decorative shops I needed a way to categorize them so that I could easily flip thr flip through bleh, and find them so I had to start making my own dividers because I ran out of just the five or six that they sent me so I used the divider as a template and started making my own um, like I said dividers and I started holding my decorative stickers that way so for example um, well, all these are happy planner but let's find one for example like this I didn't have albums yet I was just using these sticker books so I would double side uh, use double sided tape and would just stick them in here and it worked well uh, it still works well um, but I'm just growing into too many different albums. So I just need to consolidate all of my stickers into one. So for example, here's weather, this is weekend, um, workout, and I have a workout section here, I have a workout section here. So it's just, it's growing into too big of a collection. So I need to um, reapproach this. So. Happy Planner sticker books. This is what I used. Started growing out of it into my albums. So let's start pulling these guys out. And these are my main albums that I use for the most part. Just move this back off, this bag off to the side there. Hopefully it doesn't actually. Oh. This down here okay there we go that gives us much more room so here are my main albums that I use three of them are four by six and one is a five by seven so these three are my OGs I've had these the longest and this one is from Pookie Bear Pookie Bear Cuties it's a great album it's uh, durable it's withstood the the test of time and what I would do is um, I would use a label maker and just make little uh, labels and I would put them on every third or fourth sheet so that I had room to grow in a certain category. So this guy's been with me a really long time. 
Then these two uh, were purchased because I outgrew just one album, so I needed another. I did the same thing. Um, I kind of just kept going with the alphabet. So these are A through, anything A through T. I have all the way up to T in here. And then this is W, S, and then some random sections like foil, bow dividers. Um, this is five by seven, a five by seven size. This is from Purdy Planner, as well as this one. So these are from Purdy Planner. And this holds just a larger size sticker. These are my Chic Street stickers, one of my favorite sticker shops that does foiling. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love her shop. Um, and then she came out, Chic Street came out with her own album and ugh, come on, like I'm not gonna get it. So this is a five by seven and I started over from A, tried to fit all the way to Z, but I only made it to T. <laughs> so again, I'm always running out of room. Um, look at this, poor guy. And this is my five by seven. She also made the album uh, four by six, I'm sorry, four by six, five by seven. So I got them in both sizes. Um, and this size I hold to use my sticker kits. And these are sticker kits that I use in my decorative planning and my happy planner. Most of them are sized for the Erin Condren, but I use, um, I use them in my happy planner, which are just, it's a different size planner. And I am gonna do a video on how I use Erin Condren sticker kits in a happy planner size. So stay tuned, remember, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I start uploading uh, these types of videos. So this is five by seven. This is another one I have. Five by seven, five by seven. And these three all hold uh, the same type of sticker kit. So just bigger sticker kits that won't fit obviously in a four by six. I won't be really addressing this storage system for my sticker kits. I don't think I might. Let's see how it goes, um, but this is a whole other project. Right now, I'm just trying to focus on the albums that hold my decorative stickers. So these are the main three plus my five by seven larger sticker kit, Chic Street, Pookie Bear Cuties, and these two are from Purdy Planner, and she spells it P-U-R-D-E-E, -E, Planner, Purdy Planner. And they're great, great quality, they've held up, they've, I've used them almost every day, if not every other day. They're not bending, cracking, ripping, so really good quality. Okay. I also use, this guy, which is also Pookie Bear Cuties. This was a freebie. If you spent um, a certain amount, she threw this into your order. And it holds, again, more of my Chic Street uh, day covers perfectly, perfectly. And some other freebies that I've gotten. Freebies are smaller sticker samplings from the shops that they'll, they'll throw in your order. And I like the way that this is, um, I can flip through it. I like the way I'm, it's, it's held in here. So I may not um, be messing with this. Again, it's really just my main albums. Uh, this guy I bought from Michaels, I believe. It's a Recollections brand. And mostly I hold uh, stickers from a shop called Stick With Me. She does really cute pastel color stickers i have some sticker kits from hers from her shop stick with me she's out of canada and her character is so cute uh, it's a little panda bear um, but i have her sticker shop in here and then just another random um, collection of other stickers that i've collected along the years um, some chrissy ann design stickers are in here my monthly stickers holiday stickers, cleaning stickers, character stickers. So I'm all over the place. I'm At this point, I'm just putting stickers wherever I can find room, which is why I need a new system so I can consolidate some of these albums and be quicker when I'm looking for a sticker. Um, this is a album that I got from Simply Gilded. It was in her subscription box and I keep my Let's Planet stickers in here. This is a shop I believe she is also Canadian. 
yes, she is, CA. Um, love, love, love her, her design on these stickers. They work well for me because they're black and white and I can either color them in with a Copic marker or a colored pencil and make the sticker fit the theme, the, the color scheme that I'm using that week in my, in my decorative planner. So love this shop and I only keep um, Let's Plan It stickers in here. And she does multiple sizes. She does a large size, she does a medium, and then she even has a smaller size. But I plan in a big planner, so I like the fact that I can order it big. I also plan in a decorative planner, so I like the medium size. And if you were using a Hobonichi or a smaller planner, you could even get a smaller size sticker. But anyway, these are my Let's Plan It. So she gets her own, her own album. This is another sticker album holder from Simply Gilded. It came in the subscription box that I have with her. And this, I've only been keeping my Chic Street. All of my um, foil stickers from this shop go in here. So again, I have Chic Street in here. I keep Chic Street in here. Um, Chic Street, and I also keep them in here. So that's what I'm talking about. I have stickers from the same shop in multiple places. Takes it longer for me to find something when they are not just in one location. Then I started using these. Um, this is a, just a pouch that I got from Simply Gilded, again, in the subscription box. And as you can see, I keep just numbers, my date covers uh, in here. So this is where I can immediately just find all my dates. But again, I'm just, I'm getting too many, too many pouches and too many albums that I'm having to pull out, flip through, and then put away. So I just need something more consolidated. Now these guys I started using um, maybe not even a year ago and it's worked really well. So these are albums, just photo albums that I picked up from like the dollar spot. Um, Michaels, also uh, a couple of these are from Michaels. But what I did is I put my own little covers in here and I've started using them for smaller little stickers that I don't wanna throw away. Stickers that are left over from my sticker kits and they don't fit into another album. I will put them in here. So let me show you an example of, so when I have a sticker kit and I'm done with it and there's still stickers that I haven't used, I have started themes on each page. So for example, this is my coffee, this is my happy mail, and what I've done is cut down sticker, leftover sticker sheets from the sticker kits. Instead of throwing them away, I cut it down and I consolidate like items together. So like themes, so movie night, uh, laundry, here's the bows. And this is very therapeutic for me. I like doing this kind of stuff. My husband kind of looks over sometimes and laughs at me that I'm just so um, overly organized, as he calls it, but I enjoy it. I love it. I find calm and comfort in it. It does take some time, but no sticker shall be left behind. So that is my approach to saving all my tiny little icons and decorative stickers. But I have all, you know, I have so many. I have them all in these different albums. Um, this is all, I believe, mostly script stickers. So I like to keep a certain look on my decorative spreads. So I like my stickers to all have that cohesive look. So I'll keep them together by shop, all my scripts. So I need to put these into a place that are all together so I don't have to pull out so many albums. Mostly these are script. See here's some more Chic Street that should be in here. Um, and then I have some random um, icons that I don't have placeholders for in these binders. So they just go in here. Um, yeah, so it goes on and on. Um, I have a couple more binders. I don't think I'm gonna really mess with these two. These, oh, this is also stick with me and this little tiny, this is from Alluring Planners Co. This little tiny album is so cute and it fits her stickers perfectly. This is all from stick with me. 
and obviously the bigger size won't fit in here, but all her little icons fit perfectly. So I will not be messing with this one. This holds all my, stick with me, this one holds all my freebies. It is from Purdy Planner. I believe, I can't remember if I purchased this or if it was a uh, freebie with my order, but it holds all of my tiny freebies perfectly. So I don't think I'm gonna mess with this one either. Um, it's so cute. I just like the, how it feels in my hand and Eeyore, he is the cutest. He's my favorite. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna mess with these little guys, um, but these for sure are going to, everything's gonna get taken out and we're gonna need to try a new system. So here's what I'm thinking. I have a binder. I got these binders, four of them in a pack, I believe from Costco. And I'm using the other ones for other artwork, but I have one left over and I thought, oh, maybe I can put all my um, decorative stickers in here. So I bought these inserts. One is a two pocket, the other is a four pocket. So I'm hoping my five by seven stickers will fit in the two pocket, these guys. Five by sevens will hopefully fit in here. And the five by, I'm sorry, the four by six decorative stickers. These guys will hopefully fit in the four pocket. So that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be taking everything out and that is what I recommend. Um, anybody who's trying to reorganize their sticker system, um, you gotta take everything out. You just gotta KonMari that and expose it all and lay it all out and see what like items can be grouped together and what you need, uh, what categories, how many categories you need. So there's no shortcut. You gotta, you gotta just take it all out and see what works best for you. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So here we go. So I emptied my three main albums that I uh, pull from the most. So these, I completely took everything out of all three. And what I learned is I have maybe three or four primary shops that I um, typically shop from. And the most popular being my Joy of Planning shop. Um, she makes an adorable uh, character in all different shades of skin tone, hair color. I've been um, shopping from her for about, this is maybe two years I've been um, buying stickers from her. And I am gonna start collecting her character um, with a really cute pink unicorn hair that she offers. So anyway, I digress. This is my Joya Planning stash and she's gonna get her own album for two reasons. I'm not putting her into the three ring binder because I need to see everything that I have because I do shop from her so much. So I need to see what character I have, what color of hair I already have and having her divvied up you know, into other piles, it just isn't working. So she's gonna get her own album. So I'll start incorporating her stickers in my Chic Street album. Another favorite shop of mine is called Viva Stationery. She's out of the Spain. 
she's out of Spain. Joya Planning is Netherlands. Viva Stationery is out of Spain. And look how adorable she is. I've been shopping from her about the same amount of time, about two years, maybe even two plus years. She offers different hair color, tone, skin tone types. Awesome, awesome quality sticker. So adorable, look at her artwork. Anyway, so Viva Stationery is another popular uh, or favorite shop of mine. So I will be putting her in her own album so that I can see everything I have. So when I am ordering from her, I know what I need and what I already have. So Viva is gonna get her own album as well. And then for Pookie Bear, obviously I'm gonna put my Pookie Bear stash, which isn't too large, but it is gonna grow as I continue to shop from her. So it's just easy to have Pookie Bear in her own album. And I thought I would incorporate a couple of other shops because I don't have a lot of Pookie Bear and I do have some room and I do want to keep these two shops together as I continue to um, increase my, my stickers from them. I know what I have and it's in the album. So this is Once More With Love. Again, it's not a big collection, but enough where I want to start keeping track of what I've already purchased from her shop. And Coffee Monster Co. Uh, have barely anything from her but she is a really cute uh, character. I love her pastels, I love her vibe. So I do wanna start collecting more from Coffee Monster Co. So she's gonna go in with Pookie Bear. So these, these three shops will get their own album as well. Now, for the three ring binder that I mentioned that I wanna start um, putting all my stickers in, everything else that I pulled out, I know, look at this everything else is going to go into the three ring binder and I'm more or less going to keep these uh, categories. So it starts with A's and it's going to go all the way to W's for weekend workout, stuff like that. So here's one stack. Here's my other stack and I need to incorporate this stack into here and then everything will go into the three ring binder and that'll be my new system. So this is going to take some, uh, some while to get it all categorized and then labeled and then put into my three ring binder. But once I'm done, it'll be so much more efficient to find the sticker that I need. Then I have some other random categories that I think I'm going to incorporate into the three ring binder. I got a big stack of freebies. These are very important. <laughs> uh, I can't forget about my freebies. So I got to figure out where I'm going to put my freebie stash. My script stickers, um, these will all be um, in the three ring binder as well. I'm going to start incorporating my numbers into the three ring binder, as well as some other um, random sections like bow dividers and headers, things like that. So that's where I'm at right now in the process. Um, we're going to continue on. I hope you're still joining. <laughs> I hope you're still watching. I hope you're still with me. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I incorporated the two stacks into one and this is what I'm left with. So I'm gonna start putting these into the binder pages that I showed you earlier. And I'm also going to be using my label maker so that I can um, put a quick little uh, label on the side of the insert. So here we go.
we got all the stickers into the binders and I ended up having multiple um, binders. But before I do a final flip through, I wanted to put in some kind of really pretty decorative cover. So I have tons of these um, paper pads from Recollections. I picked them up at Michael's. But this purple one is really pretty and they have some um, gold foiled decorative uh, pieces of paper in here that I thought I would cut down and then use them as the cover for my new sticker book. So that's what I'm going to do next. Side has these um, bolts put in right here so I'm not going to be able to cover them up so what I'm going to do is cut it down as close as I can to slide this piece of paper through and then I'll cut a sliver um, that hopefully covers up that little white spot but unfortunately it, this is binded right here so I can't I can't get in so um, yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'll just cut it down a little wonky Okay, I love the way that the covers came out. Love the color, the purple and the blue, or the teal with the little gold foil, loving it. So I ended up having three binders. Oh my God, I thought, how funny. I thought I could really fit that entire sticker collection into one, maybe two. It took three, okay? So <laughs> I'll go ahead and flip through these binders and show you how everything turned out. Um, this one I'm gonna set to the side. This one is for my script, which is why I put a script cover. Um, but this is gonna hold all of my script uh, stickers. So I'll go through that one last. These two are my main binders, my main sticker binders. So they're gonna hold everything that's alphabetized, anything A through H and then H through Z, and I can kind of alter that as I grow within each category. So let me show you what I mean. So this feathered binder is the beginning of the alphabet. So this holds A, and I think I made it through H in here. So for example, you know, I have arrows, Animal Crossing, Bath, BFF Sisters. So these are all my categories, A through H. Now, what I love about my new sticker binders is that I'm able to see everything. I can see my, you know, different shops, different designs, and most importantly, different sizes. So these are my four by six, and I can see my five by seven, so that all the arrows can be under the same roof. And that goes for all the categories. Um, for example, here's an Animal Crossing. I have my four by six, and then I have, um, five by sevens or a bigger sheet behind it. So instead of having separate binders, they're all under the same, all under the same roof. So I love that about it. I can see everything. And I decided to move the label from the middle to the side of the page because I noticed when I flip through, I'm flipping through like this. So it's just easier for me to say, okay, I need the D's. There they are. So I have tried the binders out and they work well. My only con is how big they are. It is a lot of binders. So I did come up with a solution to that, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit, but let me show you the other binder as well. So love how the feathers look, so pretty. Here's my other binder. This is gonna hold I through, you know, all the way to Z. 
and as I grow in a certain category, I can either take a chunk from here and move it into this binder and vice versa. So it's gonna give me a lot of room to grow. So this is just icons, laundry, mom life, Mondays. So here's another example. So this is mom life happy. I do also have a mom life stressed. <laughs> so um, four by six stickers. These are from Simply Gilded, gold paper prints. And then I have the five by seven behind it. So again, I just love that I can see everything. And these are the four pocket inserts and the two pocket and I just got them from Amazon um, so that's how I put them together and I'm loving it so yeah A through H I through all the way to Z so these are my two main I keep saying main binders because I use them all but that's my alphabet binder over here now this guy is going to hold all of my scripts so if you remember before I had them kind of in a little photo album so now I can see them all. <clears throat> I got these dividers from Amazon. They are by Amy Tangerine. They're really pretty. And again, just an Amazon um, purchase. And I labeled it sidebar because when I plan, I use my sidebar, my planner as my tracker. And my trackers really hold me accountable to whatever I'm trying to track that week. So for example, I have gratitude, I have steps. Um, evening routine, uh, dinners at home, lettering practice. So <clears throat> now I can see them all in one place and I can pull from the same shop very easily. So when I am tracking and I am putting, putting down labels, there's a cohesiveness because all of my fonts, all my script stickers are the same. That's one pro. Second pro is I can see what I have. So when I go back into the shop and I want to make a purchase from them, I can say, okay, maybe I'm running low on, you know, obviously I'm not, but <laughs> maybe gratitude or no spend or lettering. So <clears throat> this is holding all my sidebar script stickers, which I love, makes it so fast, so easy to track down what I'm looking for. This is my newest purchase. <clears throat> Sticky Sloth Designs. Um, they also do a custom script, and I'm going to try them out in a foil. So I got some foil script stickers. And then these are extras and extras. So again, as I grow, I can just pull one out and place it in its new home. So I thought I was going to put some of my favorite shops into their own binders, and I did but not for all of them. So it was funny, I really thought I only had maybe four or five shops that were my favorite, meaning I, I shop from very often. Turns out I have a lot, like nine. So um, I just kind of felt like these shops were gonna go in the binder and then some of my other shops were gonna go into a separate album, which I will show you. So here's Let's Plan It. Um, she's one of my favorite shops, and I'm giving her her own section in my sticker book. Pookie Bear Cuties gets their own section. Once More With Love, I really hope to grow my collection, and honestly, I hope to have a binder um, dedicated to just this shop. She has so many different characters, and I just love her, her, animate, her illustrations. They're so funny, they're so cute, they're so accurate, so point on, so love Once More With Love and then the Coffee Monster Co. And I have a very small collection from her, but again, I really hope one day to have just a binder dedicated to these two, <laughs> these two shops. So no rush, all in time, all in due time. But so those are the shops that go into the script binder along with my sidebar. So I put a script cover, so just to make it easier. So those are my three main binders. Um, again, the con is the size. These suckers are very large and quite heavy, but like I said, I have used them and it is nice to just see everything laid out. So I'm still loving it. I'm still saying more pro than con. So I'm using the using this system for now. We'll see how it goes, you know, maybe in a year. Um, I might have to readjust all of this. So to tackle this solution or tackle the problem, the solution is a bag. I know, yet another bag but I need it to be portable. I need these stickers to go with me, whether I'm planning in the bedroom, the TV room, or in my craft room. So I like to be able to just pick it all up and have it go with me. 
So I ordered this diaper bag from Amazon and there's a really good tip in the planner community that says um, instead of looking for planner bags, look for diaper bags and I thought that was really smart. This bag is extremely durable. These things could probably hold 30 pounds of weight in this bag. Um, this, there's a wire uh, that goes all the way around so it's not going to fall as easy. And there's little pockets on the side. So I will do a farther out view of this um, once I walk through my other bag. But this is my diaper bag. <laughs> my diaper bag for my stickers, my babies. So let's see if I can just do this. And give you an idea. Not that you don't understand, but I'm just trying to show you how that looks. See that? And then I can just carry it where it needs to go. Oops, sorry, a hand in the way. So yeah, so there's my binders. And if you remember, my original bag, look how thin she got. So thin now. So I'm still using this. I'm still using my albums. I'm just using them in a different way. And now I know where everything's at. It's just good to sometimes take a pause, pull out your stash, see what you have and reorganize it so you can utilize your stuff. You can actually use it because I forgot of a lot of certain little shops that I had. Um, I'm still gonna use the Simply Gilded sticker book and she is going to just hold my Stick With Me shop stickers. Chic Street fits perfectly in this little Pookie Bear Cuties album that was um, a freebie with a purchase, a certain amount you bought from her shop. She threw in a album. And my albums that have been with me since the beginning, I'm still using. So my Pookie Bear, which I thought I would put Pookie Bear in here, but I decided to put her stickers in an album, are just gonna hold my freebies. My Chic Street album, which I'm in love with, will hold all of my joy of planning. And the Purdy Planner album will hold all of my Viva stationery, so she gets her own album too, because I have quite a collection from these shops. So yeah, this is going to uh, this is going to be with me on my new planning, my new uh, sticker organization road, and help me be a more effective planner and make it more enjoyable and less time consuming just flipping through all my stickers. So let me go ahead and show you how everything looks kind of um, from a different view. Okay guys, so this is what the binders look like in their new little caddy. Again, this is just a diaper bag. I ordered from Amazon, um, tons of different designs. This just was neutral, um, so I really liked it. And yeah, so this is gonna hold the beasts <laughs> and again because um, I move around when I plan and my stickers my binders everything has to kind of be mobile and be able to go with me and then this was my original bag which I will still be using it just is going to be holding all my um, specific shops and some freebies and some other odds and ends but it is super light very light and now I'm officially a bag lady when I walk around the house with all my stickers. And of course, if I'm just hanging out in my craft room, then I can just put these on the floor, put them on the side, and they're still with me. So anyway, I hope you really uh, enjoyed my video. It was a really fun exercise to do. I'm so happy I did it, and I will um, probably do another one in maybe a year. <laughs> we'll see where we're at, um, but I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and I will talk to you soon.